Hello viewers, you are welcome to another Biology Jam class. And today, the topic that we are going to be discussing is living things. Under this topic, we'll be considering the characteristics of living things. And after that, we'll be looking at cell structure as well as the components of cells and their functions. So class, you will agree with me that in our environment, we have both living things and non-living living things. The non-living things are the things without what, without life. Why living things are the things that has what, that has life. And what brings about this life? What brings about this life is known as what? As self. Without self, there won't be anything called what? God life. Now, we have characteristics of living things. And in some textbooks, when you look at some, some textbooks, they make use of letters to represent in each and every one of these words, characteristics of what living things. What we have on the board here is pronounced Mr. Niger card. Each of these letters stands for a particular word. This, this first letter that we have here, which is letter M, represents what? Movement. The next one, which is letter R, represents respiration. The third one, which is letter N, represents what? Nutrition. The, uh, the fourth one, which is I, represents irritability. The next letter, which is letter G, represents growth. The next letter there, which is letter E, represents excretion. The next letter, which is letter R, represents reproduction. 